Hello Hyper Red Raiders, I'm PokeTube Tyler and welcome back to the PokeTube Studio and today I had a theory. I had a big theory. I said, what if, what if Big Five Sporting Goods sold Pokemon cards? Well, I mean, we had to go there, uh, me and my wife anyways, to get some stuff for our kid playing flag football. But I did have a theory when I was going there. I was like, I wonder if they do actually sell Pokemon cards. Well, turns out they do. Oh, they do. They had a huge selection, actually. So if you have a big five uh, sporting goods in your area, go check them out because they more than likely have Pokemon cards. It's a little bit weird because, like, uh, I wouldn't think of them having Pokemon cards, but <laughs> they did. They had a ton. But And I w was looking at them, and they had a lot of individual uh, sleeved ones like these, and I bought the rest of the Brilliant Stars that they had. They had, I have a nine packs of Brilliant Stars here, and there's so many cards that I still need to pull from Brilliant Stars. And I was like, let's open this up. Let's buy the rest of these and see if we can pot, pile, <laughs> so we can pull some of the biggest cards that we have not pulled. We're still looking for the Hyper Rare Arceus, the Hyper Rare Charizard, the Alternate Art Charizard, the Full Art Charizard. And I feel like there's another Charizard that I'm missing, but there's so many Charizards that I need to pull. We've pulled the Alternate Arceus, we pulled the um, Gold Arceus, we pulled... Uh, I think that's it. Anyways, we got the Promo Arceus. We need the Hyper Rare Arceus and lots and lots of Charizards to complete this collection of Brilliant Stars. So I just bought the rest that they had. Um, but yeah, like I said, go check out your Big Five and see if they have Pokemon packs because it's a sleeper company that might have some stuff that you need to pull. So without further ado, I wait, oh, wait, oh, oh, oh I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If we haven't hit it already at 1900 subscribers, giving away this PSA holographic ride chew base set graded by PSA. And then along with two vintage top series, two packs along with much, much more goodies at 1900 subscribers so hit that subscribe button if you haven't already let's try to get 25 likes on this video that'd be super dope but let's get into it right meow all right making sure we're all good all recording here now let's get into some brilliant stars like i said i got nine packs those are the last bits that they had so many good cards that we can pull from this set let's see if we can do it all right so first pack here all right if, if you guys like found those cards i mentioned earlier like some of those charizards of the arceus i mean I, we pulled the, some a lot of the arceuses i'm pretty proud of ourselves on this channel to pull those arceuses but have you pulled those charizards and stuff man some, like some of them are like going oh that was scary for a second uh barcode for you all some of those are going for like crazy big money it's so uh this is a good set is what i'm saying <laughs> but have you let let me know in the comments if you pulled them let let me know i would like to know fracture terapius trainer we got a Cherubi. we got a sock we got a core fish we got a golette we got a chimichow oh wow look at that i don't know if you can see this but it has like the little crimp up here where it's like got the card got stuck in the crimp when they crimped the pack that's kind of crazy i've never actually had that i'm gonna set that one aside here because i've never had that before we got Manaphy, Reverse Hollow. Uh-oh. And we got a Morpeko V. It's a very nice first pack getting a card to go into the Hall of Fame section. Full art, Morpeko V. Very nice little card, actually. And uh, pretty cool to pull it, but I've never actually pulled a card that had got stuck in the crimp there. So that's kind of cool. I've never seen that before on my channel. I mean, I've seen it before on other people's channels, but not mine. So that's, that's the first one. That's, that's a... Pokemon Air um, quality control, though I've heard from that from the Pokemon company on this kind of stuff has been pretty down. So uh, I'll take it though. I like little weird errors like that. I like miscuts and stuff like that. So I'll take it. All right, but like I said, I really might really want to pull some of these Charizards. The main ones for me would be the Hyper Rare for the Hyper Rare Raiders and that Alternate Art Charizard. Not only because they sell for a lot, a lot of money raw, but um, for me, it's a, it's a, they're chase cards. They're really, really cool. And I don't really do this for the selling purposes. I like, I'm a collector, so I like to collect it. So hopefully we can eventually pull one of those cards 
All right, non-holographic Mewtwo. Uh, that's the hard part. Is like, I wish I was someone that wanted to sell it, but I always get like an emotional attachment to every single freaking card I pull, and I don't ever want to sell them. So that's the hard part. I'm a, like, I'm a collector. That's what it is. And I'm sure a lot of you can actually relate to that. Um, but I wish I that I had the willpower in me to. Uh, um, uh, to sell some of it and make back some of my money that I've spent on all this stuff. But, you know, comes with a hobby, comes with a hobby. All right, Energy, Morf Monferno, wow, Trainer, Starmy, we got a Bidoof, we got a Electabuzz, we got a Halucha, we got a Buzel, we got a Gibble, we got a Reverse Hollow Eternatus. This is one of my favorite reverses in the set. I just think it looks so cool, the artwork. And then the rare Holographic Moltres. All right, so not too bad. We'll take a Holographic whenever. That's that's okay, that's okay. Get that out there. I'm gonna put this one up here so it's just out of my way. Ugh. What are we in? This is pack number four now. So a full art along with a Holographic Moltres. Not too bad, not too bad. Oh man, Brilliant Stars though is seriously just a really, really cool set. I really do love this set. It might be my favorite set from Sword and Shield. Evolving Skies competes with it, but Evolving Skies, man, that one's rough. Uh, Brilliant Stars has been a lot nicer to me than Evolving Skies. Claydol, Executor, Trainer, we got a Golette, we got a Chimicho, we got a Chimchar, we got a Mencino, we got a Baltoy, Reverse Hollow Motham, and the rare non-holographic grim snarl man so uh, it's completely up in the air what we're actually gonna yeah i will say big fives prices were a little bit steeper i think for each one of these sleeved booster packs was six dollars 5.99 which is not horrible it's a dollar more than regular retail but the fact that i found brilliant stars still nowadays it's was i just took a chance and plus i was there but like um, elite trainer boxes of Astral Radiance was like $59.99 at my location. So that's that's pretty rough. That's pretty rough. I think normal retail is $44.99. And then you can even find them like on eBay and stuff and like websites for $34.99. I've seen Astral Radiance on BestBuy.com for $34.99. So a price tag of $59.99 was pretty, pretty ridiculous. But lots of selections. Go check them out. Sleeve packs, not too bad. Tropius trainer and i will say that they will probably have sleep packs that we haven't seen in stores for a little while so because it's been sitting there clefairy cherubi we got a sock Oop, we got a core fish we got a reverse hollow monferno and why am i struggling with monferno today and non-holographic manaphy that's the rare why is manaphy a rare that's weird i feel like <laughs> i feel like that's a ripoff on its own is that the manaphy is the is a rare whatever whatever that's fine. I need to quit being so grumpy about it. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, Moltres, more Peko. All right, there's the barcode for you all. Hopefully you guys get something cool with these barcodes. Give my barcodes away in every single episode. I don't use them, so might as well give them to you all in case you do. Energy, star me, we got a Weevil, we got a Dusclops, we got to Execute, we got a Grimer. We got a Clefairy, we got a Bidoof, we got an Electabuzz, they got a Sneasel, Reverse Hollow, and, uh-oh, the rare is we got a Wimmiscot Full Art V. Look at that. That is a very nice Full Art Wimmiscot. Wow. Wow, beautiful. Let's check out the centering on this is maybe a little off from left to right and definitely off from top to bottom. But in the matching the back, top to bottom, way off, and then uh, right to left is off. But very nice, full art, Wilma Scott V. I'll take that pull. I'll take that pull. All right. So maybe it's becoming worth it. Maybe it's coming worth it. But maybe it's just a sign that we're on to bigger and better pulls. Like I've said on this channel before, and many, many times before, we are definitely a second half team. We're definitely a second half team in this channel. So, I always expect us to get our pulls in the second half, which um, makes sense of why we're a second half team. I don't know what I'm even saying anymore. There's a barcode for y'all. Jeez. 
I'm just rambling. I don't even know what to say after I get a big pull. Every time I get a big pull, I'm like, whoa. I don't ever know what to say. I'm just, I'm just, I'm still just a man child when it comes to Pokemon cards. I get excited about shiny cardboard. That's all I can say. That's all I can say. Magmar, I love that Magmar art. Spirit Bomb, Burmy. Oop. We got an Impidimp. We got a Reverse Holo Trainer and the rare Holographic Dust Snore. All right, all right, we'll take it. We'll take it here on the PokeTube channel with the Hyper Rare Raiders. I know Hollows don't really carry that same kind of spark or excitement that it used to carry back when I was a kid and when Pokemon Basic came out in 1999 here, but you know what? We'll still take it here. I was there at the beginning. I know what it used to be like to pull a regular Hollow, so I'll still take it. I'll still take it. All right. But we still need to get some of these pulls, and we're down to our last two packs here. So hopefully, maybe this will be the good ones. Trainer. This one just feels like it has extra cards in it, which is weird. Trainer, Drupy, Ryolu. We got a Starly. We got a Spirit Bomb. We got a Perleon. We got a Badoof Reverse Hollow. And Holographic Bosses Orders. All right. I'm going to count this because that just felt weird, like extra cards. It should be a, a 10, but one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven i was right there was 11 cards i'm gonna recount that just to make sure that's how that's weird i've been doing this i've been opening packs for this long that i can tell when there's one extra card in there one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven yeah extra card in this pack <laughs> that's pretty freaking funny that i uh uh caught that that's an air pack if if i must say so myself that is super funny that i could tell by one extra card in the pack that that means i've just been opening pokemon packs too long i had to double check down here to make sure it was not 11 it was 10 still <laughs> uh that's funny all right we'll take it though i mean nothing like too crazy but and i know that's happened a lot before but there's a barcode for you all but to get an extra card in a pack is weird this one feels like it has extra too i don't know what's going on i'm just gonna we'll count this one afterward too all right energy weevil fracture we got a trainer we got a clink we got a dedene we got a cub chew we got a dust skull we got a far fetched Oh my gosh, we got a trainer gallery single strike Urshifu V. <laughs> Way to go, Shippy! Give me a fist bump, please. Wow. Look at that. I think we still have one more behind it. Oh, we got a Gramble V. Ultra rare. Wow, my wife is going to love that one. I might actually have to give this one to her. But check this out. What two beautiful pulls. Fist bummy, Shippy! wow double hitter on the very last pack that is last pack magic if i say so myself wow but let's check here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven <coughs> again the last two packs had an extra card in it which is weird i'm gonna have to go back and watch this video when I'm editing it i wonder if like all the packs had extra cards in it i don't know but i definitely felt an extra card in those last two packs, which is weird because I did not see that coming. But Urshavu V and Gramble V, that is amazing. Wow, if you like this video as much as I did, please give that like. Like I said, let's get 25 likes on this video. That would be super, super cool. Um, again, 1900 subscribers giving away a, a, a holographic base at right here. I can't even talk right now because that's super cool. And two vintage top series two packs. And again, as always, Thunder Punch that notification.